so here we are in adobe after effects we will create a new composition we will call it as main animation width i'm going to choose over here is 1920 height 1080 frame rate is 30 duration is one minute long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title safe action then i'm going to press ctrl n to create another composition i'll call this comp as strip in width the option over here i'm going to type star into six and uh, i mean uh, star six which means 1920 into six height is 1080 frame rate is 30 duration is one minute long and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title safe action again like this now hit ctrl k again to open the project settings now over here height is 1080 let's do one thing we will make this 250 and hit enter so we'll get this kind of strip now press ctrl y on your keyboard to create one solid background and hit ok and we will lock this layer then i'm going to select my text tool and i'm going to type my text you can type whatever text you want i'm going to type let's say motion graphics hit spacebar dash select this hit ctrl c hit ctrl v ctrl v v v v v go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this press s and let's increase the size of it somewhere around like this now select this and press p for position select this hit ctrl d select the second layer create one keyframe at the start zoom in a little bit let's go to around somewhere 16 frames over here and from here to here i'm going to move this text layer out of this composition like this okay so if you see this now we will get this kind of stuff now select those keyframe uh, over here uh, let's move this over here uh, around six seconds i'm going to select this and i'll make it apparent with this second layer now alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this so what will happen we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop at 16 seconds okay now right click new and i'm going to create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and double click to apply and swap this color now go to the start press s create one keyframe zoom in a little bit let's go to around uh, let's say two seconds uh, create another keyframe and now unlink this option and let's make this zero initially select those keyframe and hit f9 like this so if i see i'll get this kind of animation over here like this now you can do uh, uh, reverse also simply select this right click keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframe so you will get this animation in opposite direction like this now select this and hit ctrl d hit u go over here and move this over here and swap this color so we will get uh, not swap this color but keep it like as it is like this okay go to the four second hit ctrl d sorry select this adjustment layer ctrl d move this over here ctrl d move this over here ctrl d move this over here go over here select all of them hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top and let's move this over here hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top and let's move this over here select this hit u go over here select them and move them over here like this and hit u okay so we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop and if you see at the 16 second we are getting this animation in the form of loop now hit ctrl 0 to open the project setting select this strip and hit ctrl d to duplicate and we have the strip to double click to open this hit u select this last keyframe right click go to the keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframe so we will get this animation in opposite direction like this then right click uh, uh, sorry uh, right click new and create one adjustment layer again and apply tint effect and we will swap this color okay so we will get this animation in opposite direction now we will get something like this now hit u i'm gonna go around 16 frames over here like this i'll hit n right click trim comb to work area similarly go to the strip 
uh, hit U, go to around 16 frames, 16 seconds, hit N, right click, trim comp to work area. Now let's go to the main animation comp and hit Ctrl 0. I'm going to select my strip 1 and I'll bring this over here. I'll press S, unlink this and decrease the scale. I'll go somewhere around over here, around 16 seconds. Right click, go to the time and choose time enable remapping. Create one keyframe before this last keyframe. Delete this last keyframe. Alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this. Zoom out and let's increase the duration of it like this. Go to the align tab and align it at the bottom. Zoom in a little bit. Hit Ctrl D. Make sure to enable this snapping and we will bring this over here hit ctrl d and basically we will create this kind of duplicates okay now select the strip to and by holding control i am going to select the alternate layers by holding control i'll select this alternate layers and by holding alt i'm going to replace this so we will get this kind of stuff let's make this fit so as you guys can see we are getting this animation in opposite direction also now uh, hit u and as you guys can see we have this animation if you go to the 16 seconds as you guys can see after 16 seconds also we are getting this animation continuously in the form of loop then you can go inside the strip over here you can go and select your rectangle tool and we will delete this fill and uh, we are going to choose black color for the stroke uh, and choose one to two pixels and double click to apply this uh, and create rectangle select this and go to and move this over here go to the scaling option unlink this let's make this 95 on this or let's say 90 and on this axis also uh, let's make this 95 or something or let's say 98 or let's say 99 okay now select this and let's increase let's make this 80 on this side okay let's select this uh, and increase the stroke pick width to three pixels now select this hit control a go to the strip to select this hit control v and go to the start we will get something like this so now as you guys can see if i make this full resolution we are getting this kind of stuff now let's make this in quarter resolution now select all of them and enable uh, the 3d icon then right click new and create one camera and angle of view is 49 and simply hit ok right click new and create one null object convert this null object into 3d select this camera and now make it apparent with this null now select this null press r for rotation i'll rotate it on y axis somewhere around like this then mm, on x axis i'm going to rotate it like this press s for scaling option and decrease the scale a little bit and uh, sorry disable the snapping tool and with i'll adjust it in some way that uh, i don't want any small space at this side so press r for rotation and let's rotate it on y axis somewhere around like this and try to adjust it over here like this okay and now as you guys can see we are getting this kind of animation over here now what i want is i want alternation in this animation so what we can do I'm going to select this or uh, let's go inside the strip over here. Uh, let's select this text uh, layer, hit U. As you guys can see, we have applied position keyframe animation. So select those keyframe and hit F9. Let's go to the graph editor. Select this graph by holding shift. I'm going to move a little bit over here. As you guys can see, influence is 51.29. Similarly, I'll select this and by holding shift, I'll move this until my influence is somewhere around 51 over here. Like this. Okay. Same thing I'll follow for this one also. I'll go to the strip. I'll select this keyframe. I'll hit F9. I'll go to the graph editor. Zoom out a little bit. Select this. Uh, by holding shift move this over here somewhere around 51.29 similarly select this by holding shift i'll move this somewhere around 51.76 or somewhere 
if I go to and see this animation over here I'll get this kind of animation like this now what I'm going to do uh, I'll take a distance of 10 10 frames I'll select all of these strips hold alt close bracket zoom in and let's trim up to this right click keyframe assistance sequence layers hit ok now zoom out a little bit and let's increase the duration of this comp let's go somewhere around over here and ok hold alt open square bracket to trim up to this go to the start and let's bring this over here and boom this over here now as you guys know that my animation is in the form of loop at 16 seconds so i'll hit n over here so what will happen after 16 seconds i'll get this animation in the form of loop like this okay so we will get this kind of animation over here then after that i'll select this uh, camera hit double a and enable the depth of field over here and make sure to choose full resolution so i can see properly uh, now aperture value i'm going to choose 100 like this so as you guys can see we are getting this depth of field and focus distance is 200 if you want more blur level increase you can do that also like this so you will get this blurriness value i'm going to choose 200 value over here and focus distance i'm going to choose a1800 you can adjust the focus distance according to your needs i'm going to stick up with this one only okay like that so uh, at 16 seconds i'm gonna get this animation continuously in the form of loop so this is the 60 second uh, animation in the form of loop so and uh, if you want uh, if you don't want this stuff then and uh, i mean this ease in ease out effect then you can simply select those keyframe and by holding control you can simply apply the initial animation that we have created simply apply control and click so you will get the original animation if i see this in quarter resolution i'll get this continuous animation in the form of loop like that okay so uh, this is our animation now uh, what i want is that i want to animate the focus distance as well and that is also in the form of loop should be so i'll select this camera hit double a and i'll create a one keyframe at focus distance and i'm going to make a distance of 2500 so camera will focus over here and let's increase the blur values to 500 so we can see the focus distance animation clearly initially it should be let's say 42800 so it will focus camera over here create one keyframe uh, i'll go somewhere around eight second and uh, now i'm gonna make this focus distance 1000 or let's say 1500 so camera is focusing over here now let's say 1400 like this and at 16 second i'll copy my first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v select those keyframe and hit f9 so after that blur level value i'm going to choose 200 over here after this animation so we will along with this animation we will get the focus distance animation always let's choose 300 value or let's say 250 value for the focus distance over here okay so what will happen along with this text animation we will get this uh, animation also so uh, this is how you can animate now uh, by chance if you feel that this focus distance animation is too long so what you can do to make this in the form of load simply go to around 8 second select those focus distance uh, keyframes by holding alt you can move those keyframes up to this okay then you can alt click on the stopwatch and you can type loop out expression on it okay so you will again get this animation in the form of loop so this is how you can create this kind of looping text animation inside of after effects